Welcome once again to today's discussion. We are looking at gradients and equations of straight lines. We are uh, presenting uh, the following question. The equation of a straight line L1 is given as 3x plus 2y is equal to 12. Another line L2 is perpendicular to L1 at negative 2, 9. Part A, find the equation of L2 in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, where m and c are constants. The first thing we do, we express L1 in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, so that we can identify the gradient, and therefore we are going to have 2y being equal 3x goes to the other side and becomes minus 3x and of course plus 12. If you divide all through by 2, y is going to be equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 6. That means the gradient of line 1 which is m1 is going to be equal to negative 3 out of 2. We have been told that L1 and L2 are perpendicular and we know for perpendicular lines the product of the gradient of line 1 multiplied by the gradient of line 2 they will always give you negative 1. That means if we take the gradient of M1 which is negative 3 over 2 multiplied by M2 this one is going to give us negative 1. That means if you divide both sides by negative 3 over 2, our m2 is going to be equivalent to positive 2 out of 3. From there now to get the equation of L2, we pick one of the given points which is negative 2, 9, another arbitrary point along that line which is xy, and the gradient which is 2 thirds for us to get the equation. To get the gradient, we take the y minus the value of y in this other point, which is 9, divide by x minus the value of x, which is negative 2, minus, minus will give us plus, and this one is going to be equal to 2 thirds. From there now, we cross multiply. If you take 3 times y, you get 3y. 3 times minus 9, you get minus 27. And this one is going to give us 2x. Then 2 times 2, you get positive 4. From there, now we move minus 27 to the other side, such that we remain with 3y being equal to 2x plus negative 27 goes to this other side and becomes a positive, giving us 31. So if you divide all through by 3, y is going to be equal to 2 out of 3x plus 31 over 3. And that is the answer to part A of that question. Remember to subscribe and also share the link. We move to part B of the question. Another line L3 is parallel to L1. And we know for parallel lines m1 is equal to m2 meaning parallel lines have equal gradients therefore now we are going to pick the given point which is negative 4 negative 1 we pick another arbitrary point which is usually xy and the gradient remember the gradient of l1 is a uh, negative 3 over 2 from there we proceed and get the equation. So we take y minus minus 1 becomes plus 1 divided by x minus minus 4 becomes plus 4 and this one is going to be equal to negative 3 out of 2. We cross multiply. Let us begin with this part uh, having x. Negative 3 times x you get negative 3x. Negative 3 times positive 4, you get minus 12. And this one is going to give us 2 times y, you get 2y. 
plus 2 times 2. In the form of ax plus by is equals to c, we move y to this other side and therefore we are going to have minus 3x then minus 2y being equal to we are going to be left with 2 minus 12 goes to this other side and it becomes a plus therefore minus 3x minus 2y is going to be equal to 14 and this is the answer of this part in form of ax plus by is equals to c we go to roman 2 of part b they need the x and the y intercepts of line 3. Remember the equation of line 3 has already been gotten in form of ax plus by plus c. And we know for us to find x and y intercept of line 3 at x intercept the value of y will always be equal to 0 and therefore we take the value of 0 we substitute it in the equation. We are going to have negative 3x minus 2y meaning 2 times y so minus 2 times that is minus 3x minus 2 into the value of y which is 0 and this one is going to be equal to 14 this is minus 3x minus 2 times 0 you get a 0 and therefore negative 3x is going to be equal to 14 so if negative 3x is equal to 14, if you divide by negative 3 on both sides, the value of x is going to be equal to 14 over 3. That becomes our x-intercept. Then we find the y-intercept. And we know at y-intercept, the value of x is always equal to 0. We again substitute the value of x back into the equation. We are going to have negative 3 into x and our x is 0 minus 2y and this one is going to be equal to 14. Remember negative 3 times 0 is 0 so we remain with negative 2y being equal to 14. Meaning if you divide by negative 2 on both sides the value of y is going to be equal to negative 7. So this again becomes our y intercept. We move to the last part of the question. The last part of the question. So the last part of this question, the point of intersection between L2 and L3. The first thing we do, we need to bring in the equation of L2. And L2 has already been calculated up here, which is a... Uh, we can pick a L2 at this point here. 3y is equals to 2x. 3y is equals to is equal to 2x plus 31. Then we have L3. And our L3 has been gotten to be minus 3x, then minus 2y being equal to 14. We can now form two simultaneous equations and solve them using elimination. From line 2, we are going to have 3y. We move, my, uh, we move 2x to this other side so that we have minus 2x and this one is going to be equal to that one. Then minus uh, 3x minus 2y can be written as minus 2y minus 3x being equal to 14. Using elimination method, we can eliminate the part having x. We multiply the coefficient of x in equation 2 in equation 1. And the coefficient of x in equation 1, we multiply with equation 2. From here, we move down. 3 times 3y, you get 9y. 3 times 2x, you get minus 6x. And this one is going to be equal to 31 times 3, which is 93. 2 times minus 2y, you get minus 4y. 
then minus 3x times 2 you get minus 6x and this one is going to be equal to 14 times 2 which is 28. Having uh, unified the part having x we usually subtract the two equations and if you subtract the two 9y minus minus 4y we get positive 13y and this one is going to be equal to remember minus x remember minus 6x minus minus 6x will give us a zero and therefore this one cancels we remain with 93 minus 28 which gives us 65 if you divide both sides by 13 the value of y is going to be equal to 5 after getting the value of y we substitute for y in equation for example 2 equation 2 is 3x minus 2y remember we have the value of y as 5 and this one is going to be equal to 14 from there we remain with 3x minus 10 being equal to 14 we take negative 10 to this other side negative 3x is going to be equal to 24 Dividing both sides by negative 3, the value of x is going to be equal to negative 8. And therefore now, the point of intersection in this case is going to be equal to negative 8 and positive 5. Anyway, thank you for watching and welcome to the channel. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take one second and click the subscribe button.